What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your videos more clickable and have people click on your videos so you can get more views. You could have the best video in the world with the most amazing quality content, but if no one wants to click on that video, no one's going to see it, it's going to get no views and your channel isn't going to go anywhere. One of the most important aspects of doing YouTube is appearing to be presentable and having videos that people want to actually click on. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your videos more clickable. So with that being said, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 2,000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. Now the most important aspect of of course having a very appealing video is having a very nice thumbnail that people want to click on. And I know what you're thinking, the best way to have people click on your videos is to have a clickbait thumbnail. When you're making a nice thumbnail, you do not have to put in things that won't be in the video. You don't have to show your jugs and you don't have to have the most crazy, cringy picture you can think of just so people will click on it. The most important thing about having a thumbnail that is attractive to the eye is having one element that pops out. So when you're making a thumbnail, make sure you have one or two images that really stand out to the eye. They don't have to be pictures, they can also be text, but I'm only saying one or two because your thumbnail is going to be very small when people are looking for it. Not even in the search engine, but on mobile devices, they're like that big. So don't put too many things in the thumbnail. Make sure whatever you put in is going to be very easy to see and it is attractive to the eye. If you're using text, Next, make sure that you have as few words as possible. Try not to use a boring font. Make sure everything pops out like I said. For example, with my thumbnails, I try to limit the amount of words I have and then have one or two images as well, just so everything is colorful. Make sure things contrast as well. So if you have a light background, don't use light text, use a dark text so that it stands out and it pops and you're going to be good to go. Now, one other tip for having a very clickable thumbnail is to look up videos that you're doing. So if you made a video on something, look up that video before you make a thumbnail and look at all the other thumbnails. Chances are they look very similar or very boring. And one goal you should have in mind is to make the thumbnail as different as possible from all of these thumbnails because people are going to be more inclined to click on it because it looks completely different. That's one thing I've done and I can promise you it works very, very well. Now the second element to having a video that's appealing is going to be the time. If you're going to be making a tutorial video, for example, it's better to make the video as short as possible. So I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying to rush everything, but I'm saying if you have a lot of filler content in your video and you're doing a tutorial video, you want to short it down as much as possible because people are going to be looking for the shortest video that can show you how to do the same thing. Now, if you have, say, a gameplay video, it would be better to have a longer video because people want to see more gameplay. So it depends on the theme, but that is another tip you can use to make your video more attractive to people so they can click on it. Now, the third tip I have is to make your title appealing. One thing about your title is that it shouldn't be too long because people won't read the entire thing and it's just a jargon of sentences. Now it is good for keywording, but trust me guys, if you're going to be wanting a video that people click on, you want to have the title be like one sentence, two sentences max, so people can see it and you can see every single detail needed in the title before the person even clicks on the video. So say for example, someone is looking for a 2016 version of a how-to video. You don't want to have like three sentences in the title then have 2016 at the very end because they're not going to see the 2016 because of all the other sentences and phrases you have at the beginning of the title which are going to show up on the search and the 2016 is going to get pushed out to the back and they're not going to see it and they won't click on your video. Keep your titles precise, use all the keywords you can, and make sure you can read the entire thing. And if you can't, then I would recommend you don't make it all caps. All caps titles do work, but it all depends on the title. If it's too long, there's no point in making it all caps or you're not gonna see the entire title. So as you can tell already, it's very dependent on the type of video you're making to have a video that stands out. But the most important thing I would say is to just be different from all the other videos that have been made on whatever you're doing. So make your thumbnail completely different, have it pop, Make sure you don't use too much text. Make sure that your description and titles are clear, concise, and to the point, and your video length is something that people would wanna click on. But those are all the tips I have. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it did help you out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.